Welcome to the weekly episode of JNA 923, where we bring you the most succinct news of the real estate market in the past week. And if you're driving today, the weather seems fine. So if you are looking for a new DJ in your radio channel, you can always ink. No matter. Travis Isaiah. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to this week's News Dash once again, where two full-time realtors turned part-time news reporters yeah. decide to inject some fun. You know, I hear the word inject, right? I think about capital injection because of the ABSD news, which is very interesting, right? Which we're uh, talking about today. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you don't know who Geraldine Satrio is, that's right. She is the team lead of listings on board our JNA sales force. She's a leader on board the team as well as the co-founder of JNA Indonesia. So if you're Indonesian clients looking for buying or selling some properties, she is the best person to look for. So today we have the lady herself. Thank you for having me. <laughs> She's trying to sound like, thank you for having me. Anyways, today we are going to be covering the week of 25th April to 30th April 2023. I'm going to share with you what happened to the real estate market. Geraldine, take it away. Okay, so first up today, we have about the US, your A's rental index for landed properties. Yes. That jumped 14.5% in Q1 of 2023. That is very high. Uh. Yes, it wow. is. So landed homes in Singapore actually saw the highest increase as compared to, you know, uh, non-landed private residential yep. in Q1 2023. So this is something that uh, I thought was interesting that I wanted to share with um, you guys today. Yes, interesting. And what I'm seeing here is that this is attributed partly to the ultra high net worth individuals setting up family offices in the country yes. who are waiting for the PR and citizenship. And right now with the mm. increase of ABSD, there are definitely a lot of people are looking to rent to wait for their PR and citizenship. Yes. So that's yep. also a discussion that we have towards the end of this news dash today. Okay. So there's a separate news article that was also discussed. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that there are some ultra high net worths that are paying monthly rents for a GCB ranging from $80,000 to $200,000 per month. Yes. That's insane. Yeah, so I was actually looking up uh, like, you know, property gurus and latest transactions to see if this is actually true. Yes. And I do see some of them asking at $250,000. That's insane. Yes. And not only GCBs, right? Larger detached homes and semi-Ds are renting high as well. So yes. what I'm seeing here is that the rental has almost doubled from $12,000 to $15,000. Now it's like on average twenty dollars to twenty five k. Yeah. 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 So what's the reason behind that? What do you think? Okay, so actually I was serving a, a client who was looking for a GCB rental just two years back. Yes. For a GCB in Holland area. At that time, it was 25000 a month. And now I was looking at the market price over there. It's about forty to 50 k per month. Double. Yes, it's actually doubled. Yeah. And I think the reason for this is also because a lot of these high net worth uh, individuals, they're coming to Singapore ever since the borders opened up yes as compared to two Post years COVID. back yep. yes yep. yes so i think this affected the the rental market especially for landed properties yes and also because you know um all these foreigners coming to singapore they're used to staying in large landed homes Absolutely. in their home countries yes so coming to singapore you know condos are really too small for them yeah sometimes you know condos probably the size of condos is probably like one of their one of the size <laughs> in wherever they That's are from, yeah. right? And a lot of these people coming in, they're from the US, they're from Taiwan, they're from, you know, Philippines, yes. Indonesia, yes. India, where, you know, they have large land space. Absolutely. Yeah. And one thing that I realized is that the reason why, so you mentioned about the increase in demand, right? Yes. Because the borders open, more PRs are coming in, Correct. more foreigners are coming in. Mm. Not only that, you're seeing condominiums. Yes. Four bedroom can easily go up to like twenty to $30,000. Yeah. So if you're thinking, we were just shopping with a buyer, a tenant recently who was waiting for his landed to be built mm. he's renting in orchard it's mm. like a four bit room and it was like $25,000 yeah. so thinking about it would you rent a condo or would you rent a landed property for $25,000 yes and that's the reason why because of the price gap you start seeing landed property prices rental going up yeah great let's yeah. head on to the next news ah aha aha <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so tired of talking about this because we just ended our webinar. So if you didn't know that we have a webinar, right? The QR code for our Telegram chat is going to appear right here. You can point at it. Right here. We already have more than 460 subscribers and they get to have the first-hand information. Mm. Fun fact, next week, we are going to be having a webinar on the Saturday where we'll be covering the top 10 picks for resale and new launch developments by Jane Real Estate. So I'm a bit tired talking about the ABSD news because everywhere I go, I'm repeating myself and this is going to be the last. <laughs> and this is going to be one of the times where I'm going to happily talk about this as well. Okay, come, Jalen, tell me more. What happened to the ABSD market? Okay, so I think this is something that a lot of people 
uh, we're already reading about yeah. and one of the most talked topic about uh, for the past week. Yes. It's about the new ABSD rate, especially for foreign buyers that doubled to 60% from the previous 30%. Yep. Yeah, so the government actually announced this new measure so that they can cool the country's surging property market mm. to ensure that this um, doesn't rise above the economic fundamentals. Absolutely. Yeah. So recently, we just had a webinar last Saturday and today it's a Monday, mm. right? Just a couple of days ago where we covered whether this will really affect the market or not. And mm. fun fact, in the core central region where yeah. most of the foreigners and PRs are buying, 88.2% is owned by Singapore citizens and PRs. Yeah. And the rest of the 12%, not all foreigners, huh? Yep. Actually, there are some companies who are owning the properties as well. Mm. And fun, 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 fun fact. Is that Blossoms by the Park that recently launched later? We're talking about it later. Correct. Right? Four units are bought by Chinese Chinese, citizens. Chinese buyers, yep. Chinese buyers paying 60% EBSD. Yeah. And just yesterday, the project that I'm representing as the chief, Bay Residences, our in-house tagger, Rodney Tan. Shout out to you, Rodney. Rodney Tan. Rodney Tan, <laughs> who just sold two units to a Chinese buyer of a similar name, mm. paying 60% each for the property. So two properties amounts to about $5 million. She paid almost $3 million in additional buyer stamp duty in District 15. Apartment. Yeah, that's crazy. You can almost buy another like three bedroom in Katong too. Absolutely. So this video, this video may be the key instigation as to why the government, after watching this, if you're watching this, Mr. Desmond Lee, we respect you, but please don't raise additional buyer stamp duty after we say <laughs> this again. 100%. Yeah, 100%, right? And I think that 100% also may not, you know, completely prevent uh, buyers from coming in because most of them are coming in to exit capital. They're not going to invest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? So actually a lot of them, um, I think, Foreigners see ABSD very differently from Singaporeans and PRs. Yes. Because, I mean, we, we've always gotten to enjoy like, um, you know, 0% to 5% for yep. Singaporeans and PRs. Yes. But for all these foreigners coming in, they are not trying to, you know, um, invest. invest. Or start their estate portfolio. Correct. This is just like a side income for them yeah. or somewhere where they just want to live in um, outside of their home country. And somewhere that's safe. Somewhere where they can also park their money Absolutely. outside of, you know, wherever they're from. Yeah. So yeah. with great infrastructures, right? Like let's say education, healthcare, yeah. safety. Most mm -hmm. of foreigners want to stay here. And yeah. just yesterday, we met one of our Indonesian client mm. who uh, owns like just one of the few orchard pen, uh, pedal units. And, um, you know, it's kind of just one of the big, 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 big global rare support that they have. Yeah. Yeah. So where you cool the market? Mm, two things happen after this, right? 75% sold out at Blossoms by the Park. And yeah. then we see news saying that there are Chinese buyers and uh, foreign buyers who are already paying 60%. Yeah. They are already acclimatizing to it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people think that this will actually really cool the market, yeah. but um, because people think that, you know, Singaporeans, they, they don't have the money to pay uh, luxury properties in Orchard or like, you know, in uh, the CCR market. Yes. And, you know, like what you said earlier, actually 88% is owned by Singaporeans and PRs. Yeah. And actually, Singaporeans and PRs are also really, really rich. Okay, yes. for those of you that think that Singaporeans have no money, you there guys, they, they have a lot of money. And they just don't appear. Yes. Like us. Yes. Usually those people who have not much money, we appear on yeah. camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You know, there are so many like uh, underground, not underground, I would say maybe undercover multi-centimillionaires in yeah. Singapore. That we, have, right. we have met so many of them. Yeah. Yeah. Even back in 2021, when the cooling measure was also introduced for a uh, foreigner ABSD that mm. increased from 20 to 30%, yep. everyone thought that this would actually cool, really cool the market, but yep. it, didn't, it didn't. It, it kept you know, yeah. it was, it stayed prices resilient. Kept prices increasing. kept going, in, yeah, yeah. kept going up. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about the next one. Foreigners yeah. will choose to rent instead of buying. Yes, yes, tell me more about this. Okay, so this news came up after the new ABSD was introduced yeah. from 30 to 60%. Because, uh, I mean, this is to deter foreigners to, you know, continue buying in Singapore. Yeah. So we do foresee that more of these buyers, uh, they would turn into the rental market instead. Yeah. And... Yeah, instead of instead of just paying the sixty percent, they would probably choose to wait yes. and get their PR or citizenship before Absolutely. they enter and buy a residential of their own. Yeah, and I think that this is going to happen because, mm -hmm. and specifically in the core central region, where is it? District one, two, nine, yeah. ten, eleven, or even Sentosa, there's a possibility that rentals will climb mm -hmm. because you know foreigners are no longer. Um, I wouldn't say they're no longer buying; they're buying, but not not 100% of them, right? Maybe 90%. Yeah. The other 10%, they will start renting places in the cost yeah. Great, great, yeah. great. And in other news, right after the increase of additional buy stamp duty mm. from 30% to 60%, and this was a prediction that we made, okay? Yeah. Chris and I, after doing the new launch review for Blossoms by the Park, mm. we predicted that there'll be more than 50% sold out. Yeah. Tell me more. 75% sold at Blossoms by the Park. 
Yeah, so you know, even after this was actually on uh, the Saturday. Yeah. Uh, I think just two days after the cooling measure was introduced. Yes. So I don't think I was surprised that 75% was sold yeah. because Blossoms by the Park is located in the RCR area. Yeah. And uh, most most of the buyers are actually Singaporeans and PRs who are actually not affected by the ABSD uh, changes. Because yeah. most of them are actually first-time buyers. Yeah. And um, actually for the past few years, not many people usually own a second or third property under the yeah, same name. Absolutely. So that's why I think this is the reason why we're seeing, you know, such a high demand still for Blossoms by the Park. Yeah. And what we see is that EL Development reported mm. that 96% of the buyers were Singaporeans and PRs yes. with buyers, foreign buyers making only mm. 4%, right? Yeah. And Blossoms by the Park is a project that EL Development has done a really good in terms of pricing. Mm. They they didn't charge way higher than profit margin, mm. uh, break-even pricing. And fun fact, our clients bought it at 2002 PSF on launch day. Yeah. You can see the average price is 2423. Correct. And it rose all the way to 2,700 per square foot. Yeah. I'm very interested to take a look at Parcel B that will be launching really soon. Just next next to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to see what... Uh, it, apparently, it's Kingsford Waterbase developers, Kingsford developer uh, wife who bid for the land. So I want to see... Oh, for Parcel B. Yes. So I want to see what the PSF is. Yeah, but 75%. So I think, you know, it's going to increase confidence for the developer to price yes, higher, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, for RCR market, I OCR RCR market, I don't honest, I honestly don't see any yeah, um great further impact. delays or impact yeah. on on the on the demand. Mm. Um, but probably for CCR, yes. Yeah. So which we'll be talking about next. Later on, yes. yes. Newport residences postponed. This was something that Chris and I were very proud of mm. because this was the only new launch that we said. Uh, currently, avoid. we have the firm <laughs> avoid. <laughs> and then CDL postponed the preview. Right? Tell me yes. more about this. Yeah. Okay. So this. Uh, so actually, I was supposed to bring a client there for yeah. the preview. But right after the cooling measure was announced, the developer said, we're going to postpone the preview yeah. um, until further notice. Yeah. yeah. And I believe this is also because of the reason, because most of the buyers who are going to be buying Newport Residences, which is located in uh, Tanjung Pagar, CCR yeah. area, mm. is going to be a lot of foreign demand. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I recall that CDL mentioned mm. that they want to wait for uh, buyers to be able to, uh, I think, get used to or stomach the pricing. It, this, yeah. this shows, right, there's going to be a little bit more bullish in terms of the pricing of this development, right? Mm. We heard, we heard there was hearsay, there's going to be about 3,007 PSF. Yeah. Chris and I has calculated 3,007 is really, really high, way above profit margin because it's like a blockbuster development in, D, in D1, D2 yeah. CBD area. Mm-hmm. So, of course, when it comes to buying or investing in the property, mm-hmm. right? Exercise prudence, right? Uh, don't just jump in because it's a it's a blockbuster launch or because it's really beautiful. And we yeah. have done so many launch reviews mm-hmm. for free. The content is up for free on our YouTube channel. Share with your friends, watch it. There's nothing about selling over there. If you have any questions, right, you can just click onto our WhatsApp number over here. Contact us, let us know what's your opinion. We have a lot, right? Last week, I think we had like 20 inquiries. And we are doing our best with the investment team to answer one by one. It's not easy. It's really not easy, right? Okay, so this is the summary of all the news that happened last week. Yep. What what is your like your closing thoughts or closing um your opinions? I mean, I think the past week's news was mainly about the new cooling measure of the ABSD for foreigners. Yes. And whether or not this And will also Christian O's Asia One yeah. uh, feature. Oops, we should, <laughs> we, we should, we should have added that in the yeah. news there. <laughs> With like 600 <laughs> shares. Like Chris O went viral overnight. Yep. Yeah. Everyone's been sharing that, that yeah. news with me. Yes. Yeah, yes. but I think uh, for the past one week, it was mostly about the ABSD discussion yeah. and whether or not this will actually affect the market. Um, I mean, it depends on the area that you're living in, especially yeah. for sellers, if yeah. you're concerned on whether or not this will actually drop your price. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's important to understand who the profile of your buyers are yes. and where the demand is coming from. I think sellers-wise also mm-hmm. don't be extremely greedy. Yeah. Neither do you be extremely fearful because uh, there's going to be a slight dip in the market, 100%, right? Yeah. But it's going to remain resilient. Don't be overly greedy such that you hold on to the property for a long time and you can't yeah. sell it. So you are serving the foreign market, right? Mostly. So what is the, yeah, what's the sentiments there like? Okay, so a lot of the so a lot of the foreigners that I've served um, are either U.S. citizens, yep. or they have PRs. Wow! So no I ABSD, mean, no ABSD for U.S. citizens. Yeah, and PRs uh, also. And, and those that bought bosses by the park, the yeah. foreigners that bought foreigners, uh, bosses, bosses by, by the park. park yeah. Some of them are actually U.S. citizens, so they are yeah. not affected by by this. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that similarly to what you mentioned, most of the foreign clients that come in, either they are waiting to apply for PRs yeah. or they're like, you know what, 60%, fine, no worries. Just just, just uh, pay for it and then just move on. Just want to park my money somewhere. Yeah, right? and we do see people who are actually paying for that. Like, you know, Rodney's buyers, yes. you know, buyers at the Blossoms by the Park, buying Absolutely. three, four units yeah. at, at a time. Yeah, yeah. 60% yeah. ABSD. We're talking 60%. about millions paid to the government. Yeah, millions. Right? I think the only, the, the, now the richest um, in the world will be the government, right? Yeah, yeah I'm, joining, uh, I'm joining. You're joining the government. <laughs> but unfortunately, you can't not touch the, the, the reserve, you know, because that is like, you know, what crazy corruption. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this week's of the News Dash. We hope you enjoy it. If you love it, you know what? Just let us know. Give us a thumbs up, right? And, you know, if you haven't joined the Telegram channel until now, right, please, the QR code is going to appear one more time. It's right here. <laughs> Join the Telegram channel where you can catch more of our content, our editorials, our opinions. And if you're listening to us on podcasts, thank you so much for watching this episode of the JNA Real Estate News Dash with Jervis and Geraldine. Bye-bye.